Welcome to Significant TV, significant stories from significant entrepreneurs. And joining me in the studio is Tiffany Wilson with a master's in divinity. And her business is the Tiffany Talks. And what I was about to say is she is the engagement coach. And we're going to learn more about that from Tiffany. Tiffany, welcome. Thank you, Fran. Thank you so much for uh, having sure, me. Oh, sure, sure. My pleasure. You know, it's really exciting. Before we got on air, we were talking a little bit about millennials yes. and the fact that you really connect with millennials. So I wanted to open up just immediately mm -hmm. with why do millennials find your message so significant? I think, um, I think partly my look a little mm -hmm. bit. I would say mm -hmm. that yes. first. You know, so I have, look. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I have a, a youthful um, um, aura to me. But mm -hmm. on, besides that, you know, this, with this whole get engaged movement of mine, mm -hmm. I really think they are fascinated by the idea of engagement in a different way. And I think they, I think they actually, um, they desire to be more engaged with themselves. Ah. They also desire to be engaged with their faith. Mm -hmm. But maybe they're just not getting the options in the church, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And and maybe they're not getting their options in the world. So I feel like I'm kind of mm. trying to bridge the gap between the church and the world. Okay. And there's okay. something intriguing about my message. For okay. Them. Okay. Mm -hmm. The church in the world. I mean, that's big. Yeah. Um, and, you know, there's all these statistics and how to work with millennials and what millennials think. Um, I mean, engagement, that's a, that's a big word. Do people ever think that it's about getting engaged and getting married? Do they come up to you uh, and talk about that or think you can solve their problems on that? Absolutely. So this is this is not easy. This is not an easy mm -hmm. message because mm -hmm. it's taking the word engagement, which really means commitment, mm -hmm. um, and putting a different twist on it. So mm -hmm. it's a lot of work to to have to say no, no, no. You know, get engaged. <laughs> You're not, not a wedding planner, I, right? I'm not a wedding <laughs> planner. I'm not a relationship coach, mm -hmm. but the coaching that I do do that will help you get engaged more with yourself mm -hmm. will make your relationships better. Mm -hmm. Will make your work life better. Wow. will make your faith life better. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yes. Because it starts it starts really within. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell us more about that. It starts within. That's very significant. So tell us more. Yeah, it starts within. So, you know, just just to get into my story a little bit. So how mm -hmm. this, you know, all came about. Yeah. I was dating this very attractive guy, very, you know. No doubt yeah. about <laughs> it. Okay, I can you see know, that. I can right. See that. But, yeah. You know, yeah. and um and we 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 were vibing and it was great mm -hmm. and you know, and you, you know, you're start, I'm starry yeah, eyed. Uh, and, I can feel it now. Right, right. <laughs> and then one day, um, he doesn't, I don't, I guess at this point he does know the story, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. his suit jacket was like on a doorknob in my house. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I kind of was daydreaming and I was like, I can't wait to be engaged. Mm -hmm. And I really feel like the Holy Spirit was like, honey child, you are engaged. Ooh. So what? What I've, you know, and this is me talking in my God voice, mm -hmm. you know, what God was taking me through over the past, you know, 10 to 15 years was all about self-engagement mm -hmm. because I was going to, you know, the man or, you mm -hmm. know, oh my God, I got to have the man. And if I don't have the man, my life is just, mm -hmm. uh, you know, oh, this job is the worst. And because I don't have, the, you know, the best job, my life is just, uh. and it's like, God was like, no, I took you from. You know, Boston, then you mm -hmm. went to Harrisburg, now mm -hmm. you're in Philadelphia, which I believe mm -hmm. is, a, is a destiny place for okay, me. Okay, good. Um, just so you could get engaged with yourself, mm -hmm. you know, and, and get engaged with me, which is God. Mm -hmm. And once, once, literally, once that epiphany came, I literally knew, I was like, oh my God, this mm -hmm. is my message. Okay. This is okay. my message. Powerful message. Mm -hmm. How do you share that message with who needs to hear it? Well, you know, social media. So mm -hmm. I did not mm -hmm. want to get on social media. My Facebook page was dead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, in the last few years, I've, I've, I just started with inspirational messages. Mm -hmm. And that kind of, you know, and then I felt like, all right, I actually I was told 
that mm -hmm. you know if mm -hmm. I want to have a you know solid sure. platform sure. you need to blog right I didn't right. know anything about blogging a mm -hmm. few years ago like mm -hmm. I was not the girl that's you know on the fashionista blogs mm -hmm. and all mm -hmm. of that mm -hmm. and so it really was me like doing the unknown going into okay. unknown territory right. and as I've done it you know, you've heard possibly the scripture, mm -hmm. build it and they'll mm -hmm. come. Mm -hmm. And they've just been coming, gradually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, right. <laughs> gradually. <laughs> right, social media has the promise of a lot. Yes. But like everything else, it's a little bit of time. Yes, a little bit of time. yes. What's a scripture that you might share with us mm. that is reflective of messages or a message that you shared with some of your clients? Mm. Well, I think my foundational scripture there's a couple but one is John 10 10 mm -hmm. which is the difference between you know knowing the enemy versus mm -hmm. uh, God and mm -hmm. that's engagement right mm -hmm. so how do I, I sure. have to get engaged enough to even know the enemy versus God mm -hmm. so it's you know the enemy comes to, to, to kill steal and destroy I believe mm -hmm. and, um, and and Jesus said I came that you may have life Mm -hmm. Abundant life. Abundance. And, bun and abundance really means wholeness. Mm -hmm. So, you know, sometimes we use it in the wrong way, but it's about right. wholeness. Mm -hmm. And in order to get to a, a place of wholeness and fulfillment, you just have to be engaged with yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, right. you right. have to align with who you really are. And a lot of young women, including myself, we're misaligned. Mm -hmm. We're misaligned mm -hmm. and we're looking for alignment in other people. Right, mm -hmm. and if you allow someone else to set the direction that you're going, who knows where that's going to be? Who knows where you'll end yeah, up, yeah. and then what if they leave? Mm -hmm. Now your whole identity mm -hmm. has been wrapped up in this individual, mm -hmm. or this career. Right, You know, right. Right. It's, it's scary. Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. or a habit that might be really negative. Yes. So you talked a little bit about what brought you to this business, mm -hmm. and it's an entrepreneurial business. Mm -hmm. and being an entrepreneur, things aren't guaranteed all the time. That's right. So what steps have you taken in your business um, as you've grown that help you feel that you will continue to be engaged in building yourself, building your business, building your clients? Well, it hasn't been easy, again, mm -hmm. because I feel like I was called to this. Mm -hmm. So sometimes with the calling, one, you resist, you mm -hmm. know, there's a temptation to run. Mm -hmm. um, uh, a lot of fear has come, right? Mm -hmm. But I realize that I, I must stay, the key for me is to stay engaged with God's voice and mm -hmm. God's plan. Mm -hmm. I cannot tell you how much I've learned just by quieting myself and, and seeking God and saying, okay, what should I do with this blog? Mm -hmm. You know, and it really has just come about because of, you know, my, my spiritual formation, if you mm -hmm. want to call it that. Mm -hmm. um, I also try not to get caught up in what everyone else is doing. So yeah. engagement is, this is my lane and I'm going to work this lane. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not going to get caught up in Beyonce's lane, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. not, not Kim's? No. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Just you to know, check. I'm not going to get caught up in Nicki Minaj's lane. <laughs> That's, you know, they're That's entertainers. Their That's right. their lane. Right. You know, right. I am called to exhort, mm -hmm. to speak, to mm -hmm. encourage. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? To, to coach, write. To write. Right. And I have, to, I have to just get to know my own lane so mm -hmm. I can flourish in it. Mm -hmm. But if mm -hmm. I'm over here distracted, distracted, distracted by what mm -hmm. other people are doing, and it happens because right. you got so right. sure. you're scrolling through your right. Instagram, yeah, right? And you're getting a <laughs> lot of input from a lot of people, right? Right? Yeah, right. instantaneous, like every five seconds, right? Right? right. And then right. the world we live in puts value on likes. Mm -hmm. So if you know, I only have two thousand followers versus this person that has a hundred thousand followers. Mm -hmm. So does that mean that I'm less of a success? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Those type of things, you know. So I try to I try to stay as centered mm -hmm. as possible mm -hmm. um, and then create things, listen to what my prospective clients right. want and right. create the things that they want. Wonderful. Yeah. And they need. And need. <laughs> and okay. Need. Good balance. Yes. You know, you have a book. You bought your book. Yes. Um, let's let's show your book mm -hmm. and tell me why this title right um and what's inside oh my goodness so mm -hmm. it's get engaged with yourself and win mm -hmm. um i struggled with the title mm -hmm. i really did uh, because 
in the book, it's it's about change, mm -hmm. predominantly. Mm -hmm. And what I go through, I believe that there are like five areas that women struggle with. So mm -hmm. what I ended up doing was uh, interviewing a lot of millennials mm -hmm. and some women in their early 40s, mm -hmm. uh, just to, to, to listen to their heart. Mm -hmm. And so I was inspired to, um, a, again, do this five book series. Mm -hmm. This is the first one. Excellent. And okay. um, I figured if we could start to get more comfortable with change, mm -hmm. you know, then we'll take more risks. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, um, we'll be okay when people walk out of our life. Sure. Right. You sure. know what I mean? Sure. Even with death. Mm -hmm. So it's just, you know, it, this is what I was inspired to do first because I, okay. I know had I not accepted that I had to, for instance, leave Boston to go mm -hmm. to Harrisburg, mm -hmm. then I would not be sitting here right now. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. So... I also talk a little bit about my story, mm -hmm. so that way they can see from a different, you know, from a different perspective, how God may be trying to speak to them now. Mm -hmm. You know, because I, my God consciousness didn't happen until my mid thirties. Tell us a little bit about that, mm -hmm. and it's going to be the one minute version. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so basically, I, I, I didn't go to church, no mm -hmm. Bible again, mm -hmm. and then uh, when I was twenty eight years old. I was standing on the highway, had to make a decision on do I go to Harrisburg or do I go back to Boston mm -hmm, for a, mm -hmm. you know, a job in Harrisburg. Sure. And I made the choice because inside I felt this, it felt like a big pull on mm -hmm. me. And it was like a voice that said, you can't go back home. Mm -hmm. And that's an example. That's wow. an example of how God was always in my life. God was mm -hmm. always trying to urge me to um, get in alignment and get engaged with my best self. With your best self. My best self. Speaking of best selves, you have an opportunity to influence others, mm -hmm. to help them focus their energy for action. What would be your final words in terms of encouraging them mm -hmm. to stay the course? Right. Well, don't be afraid of your brilliance. Mm, right. You know, um, right. don't be afraid. You know, like like Jesus said, I came that you may have life mm -hmm. and more abundantly. And that, yeah. to me, I just see, um, I see like, like radiance. Mm. You know what I mean? Yes, I, I came absolutely. that you may radi you, you may have radiance and boldness. Mm -hmm. And in order to do that, you have to accept that you are talented, mm -hmm. that you are gifted. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Absolutely. That, that you are capable. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the world may make us feel like, well, it's not good enough. Exactly. You're not good enough. You're not light enough, especially right, with mm -hmm. some brown women, mm -hmm. ourselves mm -hmm. included. Um, and that is a lie. That mm -hmm. is a lie. God loves us. God created us on purpose for purpose. And once we really get that, you know what I mean? The job is to then align with that. Powerful. Align with that. And you're golden. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. One of my words is significant. Mm -hmm. And that radiance, that brilliance, that alignment, those are big, big elements, mm -hmm. key elements of that as well. Mm -hmm. Tiffany, thanks for joining me today. Thank this you, Fran. It's been such a pleasure. Yes. I love these conversations. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just wonderful. And you make it easy. Oh, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> yes. And this is, this is part of, to the audience, this is part of why I do what I do. Mm -hmm. It's to really bring the significant stories from significant entrepreneurs like Tiffany Wilson. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.